Hi, my name is Kathleen Singh, and I'm the owner and creative director of Sunny Kilogram. The Mac allows us to compress pictures without purchasing an expensive photo editing software such as Photoshop. One of its built-in programs, Preview, can do just that. Let's take a look. In your Applications folder, um, open up Preview. So I'm going to find Preview here, open it up. And you're also going to need an image, obviously. So I'm going to use this picture that my dad took a while ago in California. And let's drag that into Preview, OK? And then um, let's navigate to the Tools uh, menu and click on Adjust Size. Great. Um, once you're here in this pop-up window, notice a few things. First, um, this resulting size box on the bottom, it's showing us that it's um, close to one megabyte, the current size of the photo. And then, let's go up here. Make sure that pixels is selected in this drop-down. Okay, and it's showing us that the width and height of the image, um, they are around 2000 by 1500, okay? That's going to be important in just a second. Uh, and up here where it says fit into, let's go ahead and click on this drop down. Notice we have all these options. And what we need to do now is actually to select a dimension that's smaller than the current dimension of the image, okay? So remember, it's 2000 by 1500. So we can technically choose any of these, um, but let's go ahead and choose 800 by 600. Boom. And down here in the resulting size box, it's telling us that the size is now 39.1% of the original and it's 166 kilobytes. That's pretty good. So when you're satisfied with um, what you've done here, go ahead and click OK. Cool. Um, unlock that. And um, the next step is to just go to view up here in the menu bar and scroll down to actual size, okay? What this does is it shows us the image in its actual size on screen. So that's important because you want to make sure that it's still, you know, a good size that you want to see. Cool, and once you're done, go ahead and go up to file and duplicate because we don't want to overwrite the original image in case we still need it in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on duplicate here. Okay, so now the image has been duplicated and we can go ahead and save it. And let's give it a different name. Okay, and just click on save. Cool. And um, if we go to my desktop, which is where I believe I saved it, image two, see, much smaller than one megabyte. And that's how you compress a picture with Preview on a Mac.